Yeah, so we need to go to to so like video test you call you need to get time. Yeah. Then so hello. Yeah. Then so no pa won hypnosis. Yeah. More 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 discover pe. I think most of if not all of these churches these days. Yeah. That is what that is what they actually practice yeah. but they don't they don't call it hypnosis. But that is actually what they are doing because Man, can you repeat? I'm walking. Can you repeat after me? I am this. I am this. Not knowing that they were actually targeting people's heart to deposit some demonic things mm. inside their heart, so that those things will not be affecting them. Because we we'll realize we, but more time we get serious. We don't put my own to see God by all means. Yeah, nothing more. So if if it's going to take my life, I don't care. So more. We'll, no one realized we I was fighting some same forces. Then we were jarred physically. We were in constant bad jam. We were very, very very weak. Then we were not drained yet. At the day, we just struggle. That me, I was suggest to keep my salary, keep my. But we were fair. Oh, so I can no more. We need to work on. But we were, but we were pay off in the church, pay on special seat. We were the day. We were to meet the no. Took my fate, my fate, try to move me in the mall of Fisil and George. I guess by more will be more will be with two. I killed Shelley. I know that something is wrong, but I didn't know me, my way or they should know. I didn't know. I thought I was having God. So I couldn't even think about that. Like, way. could these people be the reason why I'm battling all these things? Because sincerely speaking, I was seeking after God, but I thought I was seeking after God in those places. But but more I get serious, more the way all those things actually led to me leaving those places by force. Thinking back, more the way okay, could it be that the fact that maybe God just wants me to know that all those things are demonic? Look at all of the in real world, can you remember it? Okay, the it's now eventually led to me leaving those things permanently, leaving those churches, leaving those teachings permanently. Because if anybody had told me, okay, you should know somebody. Minimum, as a good bear, money rolling, but we won't coach by the blah blah blah. But when I now say to get serious, and more base one around string in it, or money, or do not tell our anxiety, we are fear to pay. But me, my pay, I walk in a long course. But more as a cookie, I want to see go by all means. It by lower intensify to a pig by me, my my jupa juice and my jar. Physically speaking, me around my badger, my G, but I'm keeping on to drain me, you be Jimmy, I'll tell you, voila. Or we are also working, no, mainly no. But local church, it gets. Yeah. In other, in other, it's like I lost control over my own will. It gets. Yeah. So my okay, would it be that all those deposits over the years, so we we must not say on churches when we talk about more or something that was too Would it be that those deposits had been there? So we that all of them flush out in the house gradually. Now, can you know why intensify no one manifest pain? Let me let me say a few things. Um, the heart of man, are you with me? Yes, sir. You know, the Bible says that we human beings we look at the we look at the face, yes, sir. But God looks at the heart, yes, sir. Uh, many people. They are in these uh, these churches. Yes, sir. Either white garment churches or those that are those that don't wear white garments, but they teach the same thing. Are you with me? Mm. Yes, Many people are in, they are in those churches and they they sleep is they are comfortable. You understand? Yes, sir. Week in, week out, they call. To the church, they do what they, they do whatever the pastor or the uh, or the prophet ask them to do. Whatever gift they ask them to give, and so but they are they are fairly comfortable. They don't have any no struggle, no stress. Mm. The reason is because their hearts, the heart of those people, is actually against God. Mm. Mm. For, for for people whose heart, if you if you attend um, any of those churches, 
and you are at peace. Then you are in greater danger. Hmm. If you if you attend a church where where the worship center, are you yes, but, but you are at peace? You are at peace. And everything is just going fine with you. Hmm. Hmm. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Actually, actually, your situation is worse than the first thing. Than the first, the only way why the only reason why you will not be at peace in those churches. Are you with me? It's because yes, it's because in intrinsically, in natural fact, it is God you are actually searching for. Yes, yes. That is the reason why why you will not why your heart will not be at peace. When God, when God looks at the heart of man, because God actually sends his warnings to us in small, subtle ways, but real, actually every moment of our life. But if you see that your heart is torn against him, are you with me? Yes, sir. He will leave you alone. If you see that your heart is actually turned, you, you are not interested in him. You are not interested in your maker. What you want, what you want in this gathering, even though the gathering is supposedly named after God, after Christ, what you want there is to, is to get a good wife. That's all you want there. Or what you want there is to get a, a, a contract, is to get business. Are you with me? What, what yes, you want there is to, is to get client. Or what you want, what you are looking for there, you are looking for people who will give you money. Mm. That is why you are coming to the church. Or mm. you are looking for power. You are looking for power. It's power you are looking for. If you see what I'm trying, what I'm saying, they are corroborated by various passages of the Bible. If you go to Second Thessalonians, for example. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Uh, let, let, me, yes, let me see if I can just uh, check it, put it on the screen, and it's just one go. It's just one passage. There are many of those passages like that. Second Thessalonians chapter 2, are you with me? It's one. Psalm 73 is another one. They talk, they talk basically about the same thing. Let, let, let me for let me let me see that I share your, my screen with you. Can, are you seeing my screen? Yes, I can see, sir. Okay, fine. Uh, I think mean, maybe one one may read it from first one so that I get the picture of what uh, at least on my on the top yeah. of my screen says the man of lawlessness. Yeah. Okay. Can you read it? Can you read it? Yeah. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and by our gathering together unto him, that ye be not shaken in mind or be troubled, neither by spirit nor by word, nor by letter as from us. As that day of Christ is at hand, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there be the come a falling away first. And that's when of sin be revealed. That, that son of partition, the son of partition, who opposed and exalted himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he as God seated in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Remember you not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things, and now you know that you know what we told us that he might be revealed in his time. For the mystery of iniquity does already work. Only he who now let us will let until he be taken out of the way. And then shall the wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders, and with all deceivableness and of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they received not the love of the truth. That they might be saved. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe in life. That they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but had 
pleasure in her righteousness. Okay, that is the end of verse 12. Look at, uh, look at uh, from verse 10. Okay. If, or verse 9. Okay. Even him, even him, even him whose promise after the working of Satan, the third power, and signs are lying on us. God is talking about the, the man of lawlessness here. He's talking about the wicked woman. He's talking about the, the, the real antichrist. Are you with me? The people. Yes. And he's talking about people who are going to be the same. By the Antichrist. Are you with me? Yes. You see, what, what we must never deceive ourselves on is to say that well, this passage is only for the for the people who actually see the Antichrist physically. No, that is not true. This this passage is eternal, it's about the heart of man and, and our and our appetites and our appetite to deceive ourselves. Our appetite for love of the Antichrist, the fact that we love wickedness. Are you with me? The person mm -hmm. is talking first and foremost in respect of human beings who, who are being deceived and who have been deceived. That they will follow the Antichrist, they will worship him. It is when you go to Christ there. Are you with me? Well, from first mm -hmm. time you see that the, 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 that the person is coming, who's coming is after the working of Satan, with all power and signs and lying wonders. I hope you, you, are, you get that. Yes. That the person, the, these people are working with the power of Satan, with power. With signs and nine wonders. Pastel is very, very instructive on their, on their followers. We talk the sinfulness of, of unrighteousness in them that perish. The sinfulness of unrighteousness in the people that perish. Look at because they because they receive not the love of the truth. The love of the truth was made available. Are you with me? The truth, the truth is made available to people. If you, if you come to a, a Christian environment and you make it in your mind that it is the Lord Jesus Christ you are seeking, you are not seeking any other thing. Nothing, no one, no money, not even your head. Not even your head, the Spanish speaking. Is it very clear? You see, yes. He does say something. He said, if anybody comes after me, and he does not hate his father, he does not hate his mother, he does not hate his wife, his children, his husband, and his own life, he cannot be my disciple. Please, you should get that one very clearly. If you see anybody who is uncomfortable. In the winners, or you'll be dealing because of what they are teaching, it's uncomfortable because there's there's a residual love for the truth in the heart of that person. Because, because there's a residual love of the truth. Are you with me? Yes, sir. I hope you are still in uh, you are still with me in first uh, first first day. Yeah. Because, because because there's a residual love for the truth. That it is the Lord Jesus Christ, the God that you are not seeing, that you are not uh, fantasizing, that you are not visualizing, you are not imagining. That's the person you want to, the, 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 the maker of the universe. That's the, person, the, 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 the man who hung on the tree, the Savior. That is the person I want to meet. If, you, if that is the person you are, your heart is after, are you with me? Yeah. And you are praying to it because the Bible said that if people who seek him, they find him. Those who seek him, they find him. But look at what you have in first 10 and verse 11. That because these people, they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. That's in heaven. It's something that every human being should be. 
very clear, very carefully. Because it tells us about the character of God that most human beings, they don't know. They don't know. Most, most of us, we like to believe that we can do anything. Are you with me? We can live our life anyhow we like it. If, if you go, if you are in a place, if you are in a place, are you with me? And yeah. nobody says, look, Dr. Koka, I'm raising, I'm raising my shirt. You should focus on my shirt and come and touch my shirt. Then say your prayers. And whatever you are looking for, you are going to get it. If you do not recoil, if your heart does not recoil, and you yourself you do not recoil from those suggestions, I, I don't know whether you are hearing me again. Yes, I can. I can. Okay. Second Thessalonians chapter two verse eleven says that God shall cause you to have strong devotion. So that you might believe a lie. That you might be damned because you believe not the truth. By simply, by simply not finding something bad, with my suggestion that you should focus on my shares, you should turn my shares and pray. Do your prayer, throw my shares. Are you with me? Yes, sir. It means it means it means that. God is actually not the object of your of your of your love of your presence in that place. Because if, if God were the object, something will tell you that what this man is asking me to do is likely, I may not be sure, but it's likely to be idolatry. Please look at what you have in your Bible. If, if you receive, if, if, if you, for people who receive not the love of the truth, eh, God becomes their enemy. It, 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 not, not the devil. Please get that one very clearly. Verse 11, did you say the devil sends from the religion? It is God himself that sends them strong delusion. You, you get it? Yes, to make sure they believe the lie so that they might be damned. The thing is to be repeated, I think in Romans chapter 1, verse uh, 28 to 30, the, the, this teaching is repeated there. If you, and, I, and as I said the other time, when you go to, um, let's see, let's see, the Old Testament, uh, uh, Psalm 73. Psalm 73 is a very, very important psalm. In those days, you read it and you shake your head. Please, you are seeing my screen, are you? Yes, I can see it. Please do, do read it. Okay. For there are no bounds in their death. No, 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 no. Start from the number one now. Oh, okay. Okay. Truly, God is good to Israel. Even to such are uh, of a clean heart. But as for me, my feet were among gone. My steps are the world well now. Almost gone. For me, as for me, the writers are but as for me, my feet were almost gone. My steps are the well nice nicely. Huh. Look at my street. For I was envious of the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. It was envious. He was envious at the foolish because he was he was looking at the prosperity of the wicked. You see how 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 good their life is. Look at that well. For there are no bands in their debts. In their debts, they don't have any problem. But their strength is fair. Hmm. They are not in trouble as other men. Yeah. Neither. Neither are they plagued like other men. Plagued. No, neither are they plagued like other men. So, therefore, yeah. pride compasses them about as a shame. Violence covers them as a garment. Yeah. Their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than arts could wish. 
they are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak loftily. loftily. They set their mouth against the heavens, and their tongue walked through the heaven. Therefore, his people will return. No There's no restraint. No restraint in their, in their disposition and their life or anything. That's what, that's what that place means. Go ahead. Therefore, faster. Okay, therefore, his people return ever, and waters of a full cup are wrung out of out of them. Yeah. And they say, How does God know? And is there knowledge in the most high? That is what they say. That is what they say. Hmm. What do they concern God? This is this is what people who attend people predict. We not. The white government choice. It's what they say. That God does not know anything. What we are doing, what does it concern God? That God does not know anything. And there's no knowledge in the most high. You can do whatever we like. That's what it means. Are you with me? Yes. You can do whatever we like. If the geo says we should pray to a rod, we pray to a rod. Whatever the geo, whatever the, the bishop or the prophet says we should do, we do it. Read first to it. Are you there? Yeah, I'm there. The geo. Okay, yeah. These are the old, these are the ungodly who prosper in the world. They increase in riches. You see that? Verily. Uh, did you see what you have there in verse 12? Yes. They are comfortable. They are comfortable. Hmm. Fast that Verily, I have cleansed my heart in vain and washed my hands in innocency. Yeah, you see, you see what, the was saying, what the man was saying. I have lived my life in a clean way, in vain. Holiness, holy living, godly living is, is useless. That was what he was saying to himself. I washed my hands in innocency, all in vain. I should have snatched the right, snatched the left, the fraud, do this, do that, to get prosperity and live big. That's what it is. All day long have I been plagued and chasing every money. If I say I will speak thus, behold, I shall offend against the generation of thy children. Yeah, if I when say I, I should speak. If I say I should speak these foolish ideas in past 13 and 14, I will surely offend the generation of God's children. Why? Okay. Uh, verse 15. Yeah. If I say, okay, I have read that. Verse 16. When I thought to know this, it was too painful for me. Yeah. Until I went to the sanctuary of and then understood I. I then I then understood I the Surely thou didst set them in steeply, slippery places. Thou thou castest them down into destruction. How are they brought into desolation as in a moment they are utterly consumed in terror? As a dream, when one awakens. Awaked. So, O oh Lord, when thou awakest, thou shalt despise their image. Thus my heart was grieved. Thus my heart was grieved. My heart. Was grieved, yeah. And I was pricked in my reins. So foolish was I and ignorant. I was as a beast before thee. Nevertheless, I am continually with thee. Thou, thou hast holding me by my right hand. Thou guide me with a counsel. Afterward. That shall guide me to that. Himself. And after will receive me unto glory. Whom have I in heaven but thee? And there is none upon earth that upon 
that I desire besides thee. My flesh and my heart feel it, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. For lo, they that are far from thee shall perish. Thou hast destroyed all them that go a whoring from thee. For it, is, yeah. um, for it is good for me to draw near to God. I have put my trust in the Lord God that I may declare all thy works. Yeah. That was the uh, Asaf, the writer of this Psalm. Uh, saying that he too was becoming envious. You understand? Yes. At the prosperity of the wicked, he was becoming envious at the prosperity. Because the, the, because the, they are no bands in their heads. They are very fair. Their strength is very fair. They are not in any trouble. You must be, look, at times, uh, let me be very frank with you. Trouble. At times, God uses trouble to guide people back to himself. Hmm. God uses trouble to guide people to himself. That is, that is part of what the Bible teaches us. If you if you find yourself in a place where they they, they serve the devil, even though they say they are running the church, and and you don't have any trouble, and you are comfortable, mm. the situation in Bible is far from us. The one the person that is plagued, the person that is in trouble. Generally speaking, they are in trouble because one way or the other, God is still seeing some element of uh, the search for truth in their hearts. Mm. God is talking to them, and one way or the other, they are responding. They are not selling their mind, their hearts, to say, no, we, we don't want to have anything to do with God. Mm. Mm. Because, look, look, God, has given everyone conscience and he has given us, you understand? The, the conscience is not uh, totally, uh, totally reliable. But something is supposed to prick your conscience when people will invite you to permission. If they invite you to commit idolatry, if they invite you to commit sin against the majesty of the Lord Jesus Christ, even though they say they are doing worship service, your, your, your heart is supposed to break you. Of course, you know, as we were discussing with the poor, one of the things that the devil has done is to bring various, uh, various uh, elements of the uh, of hypnotism. Hypnotism may control singing of uh, poetry. It may con generally, you know, control dancing. Mm. It may control dancing. In, you, you understand? I mean, people, they, they give you the impression, oh no, they are praising God, and that's why they are dancing. They dance and dance and dance and dance and dance. The truth about God, they, they try to put the under their feet. People dance and dance and dance, and they, you think that it is God that they are praising, no, it's not God. It is not God at all. Because they don't want to hear anything about the true God. Mm. I hope you get that. They know they, don't want to, yeah, they don't want to hear anything about the true God. Mm. Mm. So, um, it's a very sad something, but that is what you have almost everywhere. It's, it's for each person to, just like Asad did, to take hold of himself and say, ah, how foolish am I? How foolish am I that somebody said I should worship uh, his rock and actually eat? Am I, am I not a terrible person? 
Somebody say, I should do this, and I actually do it. So it is when you start uh, backing away. You know, you know, today I think it's in the book of uh, First Corinthians that God was saying that come out from among them, and yes. I will save you. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yeah. And be separate, said the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. And I will be said unto you, and I shall be my sons and daughters, said the Lord Almighty. Yes. This uh, passage, uh, most people don't understand that when they are hearing the truth, are you with me? That this are, this yes, applies to them. If, if you are hearing the truth, if you are hearing that, what your church fellowship, what the what they teach. Even if it's only one thing that is that you have just had that is from that maker, just one thing. Just one. What we are supposed to do is to back back away. Stand back. And then start give yourself about maybe three or four weeks away from there. If you do that, you are obeying what you have in second uh, Corinthians uh, 6, 13, 13. You are getting out. Are you with me? It is when you get out, it is, it is when you get out that you begin to actually understand more. Hmm. That is that is one spiritual truth that I discovered over the years. If you think you can manage uh, uh, well, what they are saying, you really don't believe it, uh, but uh, what else can you do to manage that? You, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> what you have in uh, in that passage, the, 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 uh, the light of God will not shine on you. In fact, what will, what will come to you? What will, what will, what will start happening to you? Is what we read earlier in the second Thessalonians chapter two. That is that is that's what we actually have. By hearing a little about on my that people people believe in your fellowship, by hearing just one or two things, and you think you can manage them. What you are telling God is that you really don't. You don't accept the Bible. That's what I'm telling you. And you can see that the Bible says that for people who, re who refuse to accept the love of the truth, it is God Himself that, uh, that gives them. You understand? It is God Himself yes, that gives them, that sends them strong delusion. So, all of us, we have to. We have to, There's nobody that does not have any, any, any duty to perform. We all have duties to perform. As you, as you hear about the, as we hear about the Bible, you hear about the true God and so on. Where you are supposed to, to take action, you take action because God is looking at the heart. You get it. God is actually focusing on the heart. Even, even when your heart is not really okay, but you are struggling to call on Him, see very clear. Yes, sir. As you are making effort, you are struggling. You, you are not okay. You know you are fighting against uh, the illusion, against sin, against, but you are making all the effort that you are made. The Bible says that whosoever call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. It is drowning people, it is it's a drowning person that calls on, on Savior, isn't it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It, it's somebody who realizes that it's drowning, that calls on people to save them. So if you if you if you discover, look, I don't have strength. I don't have strength. I don't even have enough faith, and so on and so forth. But you call on the Lord Jesus Christ to help you. He will send you the strength. He will send you the help. He will send you the faith. He will rescue you. He will 
rescue. That is actually the testimony of virtually every human being. There's nobody that actually knows all he needs to know about God at any time. But when you know any little thing about him, he's expecting you to run after the little thing that you have seen, after that light. Mm -hmm. You get it? He's expecting you to run after that light and, and, and cry on him, and cry to him. Save your, save your, save me. Save your hand, mercy on me. I'm telling you, that is what that is what God is expecting you to do. What, what are the stories of uh, the, the the various uh, sick people, lepers, and so on, when Christ was around? People who want them to shut up, but they 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 knew they knew what they were looking for. They would not care about all those uh, people asking them to shut up. They, they, they will shout, and anyone that shouted, don't go and look at it. Whether you see a single example of any of them that shouted at Christ, that Christ should have mercy on him. Whether you see a single example of anyone that Christ did not have mercy on him. Go and check it. Whether you see a, a single example of one of them. That Christ never actually saved. You do not get a single one. That is the character of God. And this, uh, you know, the Bible says that the Lord Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He, he has not changed. He has not changed. The fact that we are not seeing him physically does not mean that his power is any way reduced. Are you with me? Yes, sir. You know, people might think that, okay. The lepers in the time of Christ, I think they were seen physically. Oh, so we are talking about God. We are talking about God. We are talking about God. And the, this God actually said that, blessed are those that did not see me and yet believe. So you don't you do not need to see him physically to call on him. Any woman being that calls on him. And you see, the person is calling on. You are calling on the Savior. It's going to answer you. It's going to answer your prayer. That is actually that's that is what you have in the Bible. That means looking looking back now, I can imagine that most of these people in the, these uh, churches, not all of them, they are. It is only some demons now sitting down in their and they don't know. If they realize that those weak spirits are very wicked, they will run away because I, ca I cannot forget all those things. Those things, those demonic presence are very real. You see, you see what uh, the issue you are raising are you with me? Yes, sir. Uh, it is for each person to check so hard. So which person to check his own hand? In the book of Amos, in the old days, in the Old Testament, I think it was Amos that was telling people using God's word that it is our heart that we should tear, not our dresses. We should tear our heart. It is for each person to, to check his own hearts. What am I actually looking for? Is, is it God or any other thing or any other person? In Psalm 73 that we that we read, if I'm not mistaken, uh, there's a place there where I said, that, who do I have in heaven before you? Thank you. Or on earth, apart from you. If, if God is the person you are looking for, are you with me? And you call you, you call it through the through the Lord Jesus Christ. If I could say that you see, that's one of it. For whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord, shall be saved. That is what God is pressing, that is what he's looking for. 
But if your mind is that you you are looking for other things, the Bible actually says that God Himself is going to be the leader. Is going to be the leader of your deception. It is more that we are sure that you are you are strongly deceived, so that you might die. Since you do not really, uh, it is not the important person. You get it. God is yeah. not the important person in your estimation, your your life, your heart. That means that means some, some people they look like they are making this now. Yeah. They are rich. They are making progress. They are promoting them in their work. But it is God that is responsible for their deception. Because they, oh, yes. they won't say anything to repent. Yeah, that's what the Bible says. Yeah. That's, that's why I said that. I always warn people. If you attend any place where they do work for more, idolatry or the other, and you are pleased, the situation is possible. Because God, God is nobody's CEO. People, people, should, you know, people, should, people don't understand that. God is nobody's CEO. The Bible describes him as uh, the consuming fire. The Bible describes him as the consuming fire. That when, when he stretches out his hand of uh, mercy, he's not going to stretch it out forever. The number of people that uh, go to hell every day should, 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 be, should be a warning to everyone living. The number that drop into hell every day. Because once people die, the next thing is the judgment. They are only, their faith is sealed for all eternity. Their faith is sealed for all of eternity. Once people die in their sin, but people who generally don't say, because they don't like to read the Bible, they don't like to, and they don't like to believe what you have in the Bible. But God is not, it's not somebody anybody should play with. He's not toy with him. Yes. Yes. Anyway. Uh, I don't know, sir, but it's just it's just dangerous that you know, people will be thanking God for promotion for wealth, and they don't they won't know that it is God that is responsible for their case, so that they can be dis- can be and be destroyed. Yeah, uh, because they, what they want is actually promotion. They want wealth, and they will get they will they will actually want the wealth, even if God does not give them the wealth. Even if God is against them having the word, they will they will go, they will go to everywhere to go and get it. And God is looking at the heart. God knows. God knows that look, if they tell you that if you are, if that west, that west is for you to go and do sacrifice in the village. You are trying to go. And then when you don't go, you 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 send the money for for somebody to, to for your mommy or your daddy or an uncle to go and do the sacrifice for you. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Human beings, we may be deceived. Can can, can anybody deceive God? No, sir. We, don't, we do not even have the we don't have the ability to deceive Satan. We don't even have the ability to deceive Satan. They say you should come and uh, do sacrifice or something like that. Are you with me? And you say, oh no, uh, you know I'm educated. I don't want to do the sacrifice, uh, but uh, how much? How much is it going to cost? Tell you the amount of money. Okay, I can send you the amount of money. And you think the devil does not know where the money comes from? You think God doesn't know where, where the money comes from? 
You may be, you may be, you may be the same human being, but you cannot the same spirit. You cannot the same devil. You cannot the same uh, God. You understand? So people like that, uh, and and there are various ways they do the sacrifice. Though I hope you understand that it's not yes, necessarily sir. it's not necessarily through ordinary shaman. They do the sacrifice. They, they do the sacrifice through the other practice. Of course, you know there is basically no difference between the other people and the shamans. Generally, don't yes. have much. Yes. Generally, don't have much. So, you do those things. Uh, some people they say that uh, you know some people you you know, they say that they are prayer prayer merchants. You just go and give them money, they will be praying for you. It's a form of sacrifice. It's an important thing. Because the people, the, the people patronizing them and they, they, none of them is interested in God as God. Get it? So God doesn't see them as his children. They themselves they know that they are not children of God. Just that the amount of if, 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 I just understand that this uh, confession. There are different ways they hypnotize people. I think that explains why they are susceptible to subjects to suggestion. Some of them they say, oh, yeah. drink, human, but... beings, human beings, we are susceptible. We, you have to look, you have to make up your mind you will need. Otherwise, the section is crawling everywhere. Things that will get you to the sleep. There are very many. Very many. If you don't make up your mind that look. You are going to read the Bible. You are going to go by whatever you see inside the Bible. And you are going to believe the Lord Jesus Christ. Basically, on the basis of what you see in the Bible. The, the idea that you, you will not be deceived is very low. You believe that you will not be deceived. You, you, you are actually deceived. You are actually deceived. And this, you can actually be deceived. Hypnosis center. That's yes, a, that's what we have around. Cent oh, yes, yeah, 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 hypnosis center. That is what we call churches, basically. They are they are hypnosis center. They are is to make sure that you uh, yeah, you, you get distracted, you get hypnotized, you understand. And, and uh, that is that is what happens. That one generally has uh, that to hypnotize you, take your mind off critical thinking. You understand? But I can't tell you that uh, when you come to the church, that you should not think you, you, you should not have critical thinking again. You understand? You should just uh, you should just believe. You should just close your mind and believe. You understand whatever the pastor says, you must believe. So, the Lord is also saying that like, you should love the Lord your God with your mind, with your soul, with all your faculties. Not that you allow yourself to be hypnotized. Thank you, sir. I hope the video you are making will be out on time. Yes, it will be God will be nice to hear what it is. Thank you so much. Sir. Take care, please. Take care. Yes, sir.